Hey. Hey you. Yes, you, the guy that's about to start typing in the comment section before I can even fucking talk. Sit, just, just just sit down. Step away from your keyboard. It'll be okay. Let me speak. Then comment. All right. So, as you can see, I got a lot of shit for my 130 review of Super for mostly valid reasons. I'm going to be going over the errors that I made, corrections, shit like that throughout this video. So move along with me on this. So the crazy part to me, right, is that people were saying that A, that I didn't speak that I didn't, people were saying that I didn't acknowledge that I made any errors. People were saying that I was only harding comments that agree with me and stroked my bias. Shit like that, just a bunch of crazy ass comments. People were calling me mindless haters. You, you saw the comments. So if that's the case, then why did I harder comment by anime live reactions, acknowledging that I made an error and that I was going to be addressing it? Why did I go out of my way to make a pinned comment where I literally said that I'm going to be discussing all the errors that I made because I'm not infallible? And then why did I enter a two and a half conversation slash debate with people who vehemently disagree with me on my discord? Remember, remember what, they, what these people have been saying in my comment section. I'm in an echo chamber. I don't acknowledge criticism. I was ignoring comments that were pointing out my ignorance. What are you talking about? Like, can you, could you not be asked to, to fucking do a simple scroll, a simple check to confirm whether or not that was true or not? But of course not, because the, the outrage was so strong that reading and, and simple comprehension is, is beyond you, of course. Because even, even if you want to say that I was only acknowledging comments that agree with me, you can easily go through the comments in my comment section and know that it's completely false. But let, let's not dwell too much on that point. Because, I, like I said, I had a debate with two people one person i had a productive debate slash discussion with the other person as you can see in this uh bottom comment i end up banning because a that shit went nowhere and b he started spamming and he was trolling and he was being incredibly disrespectful so i said fuck him and i banned him i talked with him for an hour it went nowhere i got rid of him period so i'm gonna be going over the highlights of the debate slash discussion that I had with this guy, um, El Nino, in my Discord. I'm going to be, I have like a whole list of screenshots that I want to show you. So look at that and we'll move forward, all right?
now at this point I want to address very quickly because people kept saying that I said the animation and the entirety of the episode was lazy right people were just th these are egregious fucking straw mans if you were actually listening to what I said the only thing that I specified as being lazy animation was recycled animation sequences that's it that is the only thing that i said was bad or lazy was the recycled animations and i wasn't just talking about in this episode i was talking about in the entirety of this series i wasn't just honing in on this episode i was speaking in general because this arc has been known for recycling shit constantly in this arc and or copying shit from z that is what i was talking about if i was when i'm talking about the animation as a whole but again people weren't listening to what i was saying i said very specifically that the animation was iffy not bad not trash iffy and i said the animation upgraded to movie quality halfway through the video but no one paid attention to that. They only honed in on what I said about the recycle animation and straw manned hard as shit to make it seem like I was talking about all of it. And granted, there wasn't a lot of recycle animation in this episode, but there were also people saying that there was no recycle animation in this episode, which is wrong. I'm gonna show that here. Serious? So as you can see, they use the same fighting sequence three times. Sorry, they did. They just did. It's the exact same fucking fighting sequence. That's what I was talking about. All right. And as you can see, as regards to Mastar, I had, I before I even had the conversation with this dude, I already conceded. No, I, Mastar is a confirmed tracer. I'm aware that Toei did not copy Mastar, and I again, I was thinking of conceptually, not the animation itself, which is something that I did not specify when I was talking about it. I didn't, mind you, I never said that Toei copied the animation. I didn't specify exactly what they copied. But what I should have said or specified and hold in on was that I thought they were copying conceptually something from Mastar. And the reason why I thought that is because of this clip. As well as the egregious amounts of freaking Toei trying to take shit from fan fiction and putting it into the series. Points on that, look at freaking Kale. Kale, the existence of Kale is specifically because the Toei animators wanted to build off of the, the popularity of Broly and they wanted to get female Saiyans into the mix, which again, is fan fiction. Fans wanted female Saiyans. That has always been a thing. We also got the Supreme Kai thing, the evil Supreme Kai. That was fan fiction. And then we're also going to talk about freaking evil Goku, Goku Black. Yeah, that's been in fan fiction forever as well. And people were saying, well, it's not actually evil Goku. It's showing who took over. Nigga, it's Goku's face, Goku's body, and he's evil. Evil Goku. Not that complex. I'm just going to let this play out the rest of the way so you can read the rest of the conversation.
So, as you can see by that, right, I had a whole discussion with somebody about it. I got some more information about animation and shit like that, and I conceded a lot of points. I conceded that the animation was better than I thought it was. I just learned more about in-betweens and what, what the fuck is it called? Keyframes. I learned about that shit in that discussion. Stuff like that, right? But again, what I don't appreciate were people straw manning and saying that I said all of the animation was bad, and then I was saying that in-betweens were lazy animation when I never said that. I only specified recycle animation, and that is a fact. Period. End of story. In regards to people calling me, quote-unquote, a hater, despite the fact that I said the fighting was good, I appreciate the callbacks to better Dragon Ball, I appreciate the proper portrayal of Goku and his speech, and my last point that Goku hit the last, uh, the limits of his, uh, Master Ultra Instinct, blah 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 blah. Despite saying all of that, and saying that the animation upgraded to MOVIE QUALITY, I'm still a hater. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. <laughs> of course. Uh, of course I am. Um, end of, the, end of the day, I'll hold my L's where they may, or sorry, my L's where they land. I don't really give a shit about being wrong. The, a lot of people that were coming into the comments section were acting like, I've never conceded being wrong before, even though if you know anything about my channel and you go into my fucking catalog, I have admitted that I was wrong multiple times, and I have outright told my fans to call me out when I'm wrong. That shit is hilarious to me. I may have been ignorant when, in regards to animation, but your ignorance on my channel, which led you to slander me straw man and not only that tell me to literally kill myself because i got something wrong in animation in a cartoon is incredible to me like the the the, the, the craziest part to me is i literally like the day after i had made this review because i made the review and i put it up around like 8 30 or some shit Around 2 the following day after I realized that I fucked up, I had edited my pinned comment and I said I was making corrections. I then unlisted the video so that not only that no one else could see the review, right, who tried to search for it, but so that people would stop saying, oh, you're keeping this video up despite it being um, misinformation. I unlisted the video around 2, and I still kept getting comments over and over and over again telling me to take it down. Why? Shit is crazy to me, man. But the the, the last thing I want to cover from the, the criticism that got that people were saying that my whole fucking video was wrong that because I got something wrong in the animation that via that error that everything that I said in the video was invalid because I fucked up on animation okay well since you guys wanted to appeal to authority hard as shit and uh, kept bringing up anime AJ well now I'm going to appeal to authority remember what I said about Jiren and how I didn't like him being portrayed as a villain well guess what Geekdom agreed with me, so you can suck dick. If you want to appeal to authority, I can appeal to authority too. If you want to say that I'm wrong about the animation, fine. But we're talking about fucking narratives and story-driven shit? Out of my face. Back up, alright? Now, speaking of shit from, uh, from 130 and the story, uh... Well, actually, I don't want to go into that yet. I'm going to be going over the shit that uh, happened, I think it was yesterday or a couple days ago, with the League of Darkness. Because I'm not going to be just firing shots at the people that were talking shit about me. I'm also going to be talking um, to people that, that agree with me. First thing that I want to say. If you're one of my fans, and you were not understanding uh, 
you didn't really understand why I took down my video, why I unlisted it. Listen, my videos, okay, are supposed to be built on established and sound logic. And in order for my videos to be built on established and sound logic, what the information that I'm basing that logic off of has to be correct. A third of my review was me espousing ignorance. Therefore, I unlisted the shit. Okay? Okay. I talked about this a little bit in the League of Darkness live stream. Um, I think, again, I think it was like yesterday or some shit. I'm gonna put in that down below. But just addressing criticisms from, again, from my side. First of all, um, no, I didn't get dislike bought it. There are people saying that I got dislike bought it. That's wrong. Two, do not go out of your way to fucking harass people that are criticizing me in my comment section. I don't condone that shit at all. And I know that me saying that is not going to change much, but I'm saying it anyway. Okay. And the last thing is that in regards to my content and the way that I run my shit, do not tell me how to run my shit. Okay. If I make a decision on my video and I say this is the way it is, I am not changing that. If I want your fucking suggestions, I will ask for them. Okay? If you want to correct me when I'm wrong, okay. Fine. I will never hate you for that or show any ill intent to you for that. The instant you try to tell me how to run my shit is where we have a problem. And there were people trying to tell me how to run my shit. I don't appreciate that. If you don't like the way my fucking videos are run or how my videos um, turn out, whatever, hit the dislike button and fuck off. Cool? Cool. To issue corrections via the story and to kind of add a little bit of my perspective on the shit, there were three things that were going around um, via this episode. Um, the first thing is Jiren. So, Jiren fired a blast at, what was it? He, he fired at the stands to, aiming to kill people, and people were complaining about how, why didn't he get killed? I'm sorry, not killed. Why didn't he get erased? Because there's literally no rules against it. And I know someone is going to be in the comment section shouting, Ree, Ree! But, but Frost, he, he got eliminated when he fired from the outside. Re! You, you answered your own question. The reason why Frost got erased is because he attacked from the outside of the ring. Outside. Zeno and the Grand Priest never, ever established any rules saying that people from the inside of the ring could attack the outside of the ring. Okay. I don't agree with Jiren doing what he did, okay? And I think that it's stupid that basically no one gave him shit for that. But to say that he should have been erased because of it, because it broke some sort of rules, is objectively wrong. Okay? Okay. The second thing that I want to talk about is the 17 thing. You guys are right. When In regards to 17, he did say that he was sacrificing himself. In the review, I said that he never said that. I was wrong. I'm just gonna fucking concede on that point and say that uh, that was some bullshit, ass pullery at its finest. Uh, Seventeen said that he was sacrificing himself, which means that by that logic he should be dead. I don't give a fuck if he survived via luck. It was retarded. He he should be done. Ass pull. No more conversations about that. I'm conceding that point. Now the last thing that I want to talk about is. The last thing I want to talk about is Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. And uh, there's a lot of people that were giving... Um, they, they were kind of giving the writer shit because... Well, I, I understand them giving the writer shit because Jiren got his ass pull power up. But... I don't agree that MUI got diminished or Master Ultra Instinct got diminished because Jiren was able to match it. And the reason why... I don't agree with that sentiment is is very simple a lot of people have put all mastered ultra instinct 
on a fucking pedestal. And the reason why they put it on a pedestal is because we said that if you get this shit, you basically are able to avoid any danger. And what I'm going to say to that is, that's an exaggeration, okay? Th listen, think about this with common sense, all right? Look at how fucking weak Goku was at the start of the tournament compared to Jiren. He went into Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken times 20, okay? Times 20 and did nothing to this man. Then, he got his Ultra Instinct Omen state and still couldn't get any real clean hits on this man until way later in um, in the series. That was like 128 where he finally got a really clean hit on him. Ultra Instinct is not omnipotence, okay? Just attaining Mastered Ultra Instinct doesn't mean that you're going to fucking dominate any opponent that you come across. That doesn't make sense if you think about that for more than 30 seconds. Because even if your body instinctually dodges anything that's thrown at you and you can instinctually attack um, other people that are fighting you, here are facts, okay? You can only dodge as fast as as your body allows so if anyone who fights you while you have master ultra instinct um unlocked or whatever okay if someone fights you and they're faster than you even if your body can auto dodge you can't dodge what's faster than you this isn't that freaking complex okay that's the reason why after Jiren got his ass pull power up and he was matching Goku. The ass pull power up I didn't agree with, but him getting an ass pull power up to match Goku didn't bother me. Like the, the concept of him matching Goku didn't bother me. It was the fact that he even got the power to begin with, if that makes any sense. After he started being Goku's ass, notice how they said that his speed increased. Meaning that Jiren was faster than Goku, which is the reason why he was hitting him. And the instant that Goku got faster, Jiren couldn't touch him anymore. So, Mastered Ultra Instinct does not equal able to avoid anything. The only thing that was flawed in this in the introduction of Master Ultra Instinct is the fact that Goku had attained it. He should have never attained it, A, and B, the only person who was limiting Master Ultra Instinct, despite it being a limit breaking form, was Goku. Because here are facts. If Goku was already as was nearly as strong as Jiren in Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 instead of incredibly inferior, and then he got uh the Ultra Instinct Omen form, mastered version would not have been required. Okay? Period. It just wouldn't have been required. So in regards to Master Ultra Instinct having weaknesses or seeming to just be another form, I don't agree with that in, in any capacity. The only reason why Jiren wasn't even able to completely match this guy for that br those brief instances was because Goku himself was not strong enough to begin with, which is the reason why Master Ultra, in sorry, Master Ultra Instinct's potential dropped because Goku. Goku is the one who's inferior, not Master Ultra Instinct. I'm only going to say it this one time. Alright? Other than that, that's all I have to say for this video. Um, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed the discussion. If you still are going to be throwing shit at me this... Uh, sorry, throwing shit at me after this fucking video goes out. I don't fucking care. I'm done. People were saying that uh, I'm a fucking quote-unquote a meme on Twitter I don't fucking care I don't even use Twitter whatever I'm gonna be a meme for what a week and then all of you guys are gonna forget wow and to fucking whatever your name is Aaron Woodland or whatever the fuck you are listen you can make a video on me if you want I literally don't fucking care you're at literally as irrelevant as I am so, do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do. I, I can assure you that the only people who are gonna fucking care are your group of people that fucking like you. No one else is gonna care. Period. End of story. End of discussion. Your boy, ours, is out.